Here's a simple fact of life. Men and women are not equal. Okay, the quicker you get that through your head, the more you can understand how life really fucking works and you can navigate through that appropriately. Okay, you have been fed a long string of lies from society. Okay, where they can tell you, especially if you're a woman, you can just put off all of your duties in life. Okay, you can go, you can pursue that career and I don't know, you got that degree in gender studies and you can go out there and you can preserve your career. You can freeze your eggs and you can be a happy mother whenever you want. You go get it, girl. You've got all of that money to put aside. You've got those thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of dollars to just freeze as many eggs as possible. Even though going through that uh, dethawing cycle uh, normally damages or just renders useless like 40% of your eggs. But don't worry about it. You can go back there and you can be a mother whenever you want, girl. You can go out there and party for as long as you want. You will never face any of the repercussions that's out there, okay? You can live a life just like a man because there is no difference between a man and a woman when it comes to reproduction. And that couldn't be further from the truth and it's evil it's fundamentally wrong corrupt and evil for society and for the taste makers that are out there to continue to push that fucking lie okay and i'm not advocating for this okay but i'm just here these are two extreme incidences okay somebody who had a lot of money okay who tried to also have a life where they could just have it all. Oh, it doesn't matter. I can just, I can push off all of my fertile years and I'll be able to have a kid well into my 30s. Don't even worry about it and see the consequences of that. But then at the same time, yes, men can bust nuts until they die and create a kid. I'm not advocating for this, okay? But the fact of the matter remains, this shit is possible. You have what? Mick Jagger. We could even just point to celebrities, right? Mick Jagger at 70 something. Just had a kid not that long ago. Okay. A few years ago at this point. Okay. And then you have, yeah, 83 year old dad. I've just had a son with my wife, 35. This guy's fucking balling. Okay. But I live knowing I will never get to see him grow up. Okay. Again, he, that sucks. Okay. But the fact that he's 83 and he can get a 35 year old. This dude's probably set up for life, okay? So he's not exactly leaving his child destitute. And the fact that he could swing somebody who's five decades his junior means that he's going to have a lot of skills and information going into the future. A doctor who is the father of a baby at 83 years old uh, says he lives each day knowing that he won't be able to see his son grow up. Nutritional expert Alberto uh, Camarillo. Okay. Uh, says he does what he can now uh, to give the taught as many memories as possible. His wife, Estefana Pasquani, 35, became pregnant with the taught after a fertility treatment. Despite Camarillo's age, he says he is actively involved in raising his son, Emilio. Yeah, no, that it is good after all, okay? That he is taking his active role in there. He's doing better than most kids that are, what is it, like 40% of kids now are born to a single mother. Yeah, imagine that. Just wrap your head around that. Would you rather have an 83-year-old father who you might get, maybe if you're lucky, you might get a decade out of? Or would you just rather not know your father and then create that one-way trip to failure when it comes to a single motherhood? Sorry, that's just the facts, okay? I just work here. I just uh, I just report the facts. That's just how it works. Uh, he said, I'm aware that life is not infinite. Uh, that this little guy here, and I'm going to accompany him until a certain moment. Until that happens, I plan to enjoy every day to the fullest to make plans that are more short term, which means I enjoy every day as full as I can. No, that's, he's doing a better job at being a father than so many other fathers that are out there who refer to looking after their kids as babysitting. And I think all of them should be shot. But then again, I'm not about destroying the nuclear family. I work for me. I don't work for BLM. Uh, he tries to make their time together as enjoyable as possible to leave his son with memories he can hold on to for life thinking about the future uh cormillo i think that's how it would be okay uh constantly leaves audio messages for son to discover in the future that's that's really sweet it is he said that means that although he still uh really is a baby he has a phone number with the whatsapp in which i record audio and send him videos i don't over dramatize things i just record the reality of life he already has two adult sons, Renee and Adrian, and three granddaughters. His first wife, Monica uh, Aborogast, uh, died in 2017. 
Oh. Camarillo, who lives in Argentina, was diagnosed with colon cancer in 2012, but all traces of the tumor were removed by surgery. Hey, congratulations. That's awesome. The couple have now told... Oh, they have... Oh, they have hired a private Chinese language tutor for their son, now nine months old. Y yeah, that's another sad fact of life. Your father's going to die within the next 10 years, probably. And that, uh, yeah, the predominant language in the world is more than likely going to be Mandarin. Uh, they began planning for the child's future as soon as they knew the baby was on the way. This is just smart. This is just good planning. Okay, you don't have to be 83 years old, banging a 35-year-old to make smart decisions like this. Like, okay, uh, laying the foundation for a this successful life life for your child okay this is just shit you should be doing when you have a healthy family by the way which is for all intents and purposes you take the ages out of this stuff that's what it seems like we have here okay as well as learning chinese he is teaching the baby to play the organ and posted a video of himself with the youngster at the keyboard that's uh, adorable okay he added that he was constantly thinking of how he can best prepare his son for the future while he is still around i am encouraging him to crawl for example he said he liked to teach the boys songs from when he was a child, always planning to make the most of their time together. Speaking about the boys' Chinese teacher, he said, Emilio has a person who twice a week talks to him and uh, sings to him and plays for him in Chinese. It is a language, uh, it is the language of the future. God damn it, this dude, is, whenever he punches out, okay, we're losing quite an inspired mind here. I want him to get used to hearing it as a child and he will find it easier to learn it better when he grows up. And again, I, I don't know if this is like proven out or anything like that, but uh, ma if it's specifically Mandarin, because there's a whole bunch of different Chinese dialectics, but Mandarin's like the predominant language that's out there. So anyways, if he's learning that, it's one of the most complex languages to learn there. So if he is going to be learning multiple languages, okay, like I'd have to look it up. It's either Portuguese or Spanish, which is the predominant language in Argentina. Like, like I said, and got to look at it specifically. I think it's Portuguese, but I can't entirely be sure. But if he's learning Mandarin as well as simultaneously Spanish or Portuguese, his ability to transition and learn additional languages as well is amazing because he's going to have the foundation of the hardest, I guess, non-English language because English is always the hardest language to learn. But if he's learning that on top of that stuff, this kid is on. Yeah, he's going to be set up as best as you can. OK, because you don't even know. OK, like this could be your average 25, 27 year old couple. OK, your average couple that's out there. OK, how many fathers are planning for their kids? life's success like this dude right here he knows his days are numbered but again you just have that stereotypical regular couple who's expecting their first child that father could punch out his ticket could be called at any fucking moment and he could leave his family with absolutely nothing this guy is at least setting up his kid for success okay this is good parenting Okay, and the fact that it's couched in, oh, he's being so selfish because he's 83 and he's going to die soon and his kid's never going to know his father. But he's not leaving him destitute. Cormillo has written more than 100 scientific papers presented at international conferences and journals and has written more than 50 books, most on health education. So again, yeah, he has like, what, 10, 15 years probably of decent quality life with his son which is more than you can say than most fathers out there unfortunately okay so that's the fact of life that should be how you're raising a family okay but again take the ages out of this stuff and that's what you can do when it comes to the male side of this stuff but you can't do that for the feminine side of this stuff okay it's fucking biology is a bitch and it is a reality it is a harsh reality okay and i don't say this celebratorily or anything like that it's just the fact that society has been telling women this for a long fucking time and it's time that somebody came correct told the fucking truth when it comes to this stuff ladies you can't have it all you're gonna have to make a choice at one point in time okay because shit like this is very real and it's gonna fucking happen you can put your you can put your eggs aside you can freeze them and all that stuff you can go through that fucking crap shoot when they come out okay if you have tens of thousands hundreds of thousands of dollars to go through this entire process just to chase a the fucking mediocre basically nobody has a fucking career out there sure there are successful lawyers that are out there who regret their choices later in life and most of them just trickle off when they realize that you know what hey raising a family is probably more fulfilling than working for some fucking law firm that really doesn't care for you at the end of the day or there's other successful doctors who also undergo that exact same process okay because you can take a look at the fact that 
the most unhappy individuals self-reporting that are out there, okay, are 35 to 40 year old women who are on a handful of SSRIs and antidepressants, okay, don't have a family. That's just the fact of life, okay? Like I said, I just work here. I just report the fact. But this is the cold, dark reality. Like this is the lady, okay? The Selling Sunset Show. I hear that it's very popular, okay? She thankfully does have a kid and all that stuff. But she's a lady of a certain age, okay? Like, that picture doesn't do her any justice or anything like that. She's only, like, she's just barely, okay? Two years older than I am, okay? My birthday's March 9th, but hers March 12th, okay? 1988, two years older than I am, okay? And she has gone through a fucking bitch of a time, okay? And I don't, I'm not here to dance on her dire situation. You should just use this as a learning moment because these are, this is the reality of this, okay? Selling Sunset star Maya Vander announces she suffered a miscarriage at 10 weeks, six months after her stillbirth. This is the problem with pregnancy over the age of 30, okay? Most of them become high risk because the fact of the matter is when you're in there and you're pregnant, okay, over the age of 30, 30, 35, 40, you are an elderly pregnancy, okay? Most of your eggs are... <laughs> fucking gone at 30 okay and then the rest of them gone 35 okay and it's very rare that you're going to be pregnant and then all of these complications also come along with this as well okay stillbirths miscarriages okay not being able to conceive people that are out there cream pieing for fucking years not being able to create any children falling all the ovulation cycles doing all of the in vitro doing all of the fertility dances and fucking drinking all the tonics and all that shit they can't get pregnant and then when they do there are so many fucking complications okay but you're not told this you're just your head is filled with a bunch of worthless gender sexual freedom that's out there okay instead of getting to the important points and I don't report this story triumphantly, okay? I wish it was different. I wish women could go do whatever the fuck they want, but at the end of the day, they're happier when they have families, okay? And I'm not saying go pick Joe Schmo off the fucking street, okay? You got to choose appropriately, and that does and that means, you know what, following a pretty basic cri er, criteria that's out there, okay? Don't be a whore, don't be miserable, don't be tatted up like a fucking coloring book. Don't have miles of dick run through you and just be a generally nice, attractive, well put together woman, okay? And you will attract a high value man. It's pretty fucking simple. But again, if you want to just listen to society, if you want to freeze your eggs, okay? If you just want to go out there and you want to enjoy your party years, your whole phase, you want to go out there and do that. You want to run up your body count into the high double digits, into the low triple digits, which uh, you take a look at some of these broads who are out here on college campuses. That's not exactly too fucking extreme, okay? The bitches who go out there there on fucking party nights okay out on ladies nights they're getting up there okay double uh, dozens and dozens of dicks a summer just because oh we're sexually liberated no you're destroying your fucking value that's the cold hard facts of this stuff okay you can still yep nope there's a there's a sucker born every day there's a simp around every fucking corner who will wife you up and you might think that yep no cool got it on easy street and got all of that fucking all of those beta bucks okay after i got all of those alpha fucks you think that your life is on easy street until you realize that you married a fucking bitch and that your life is just con continuously in a state of fucking turmoil until it checks out at the end of the day and you realize that it was a whole bunch of time spent on your back and not well spent enough proselytizing let's get to some of the article selling sunset star maya vander has suffered a miscarriage six months after delivering her stillborn son <sighs> Netflix star announced the sad news on her Instagram story Tuesday with a picture of her son Aiden 3 as he slept. I've had a crazy week, a miscarriage after 10 weeks following my stillbirth, but my kids and my husband are absolutely my blessing and I am lucky and I am so lucky to be there for, uh, to be their mother. God, is your grammar stillbirth as well? Christ. Anyways, he continued, they bring me joy and happiness to my life. Uh, huh. A hug and love the people you care about don't take things for granted yeah no exactly and also even though i might have butchered that statement as well it's a good statement because again yeah no they're a blessing 
they're a fucking blessing, okay? Well, I'm not, at least in the short term, looking forward to any children. Again, I'm only 32. I have a long fucking time ahead of me, okay? I haven't even reached my peak yet, and that's totally fucking cool with me. I'm here trying to be the best product I can be, and knowing exactly the dating pool that's around this city, I'm good. I'm good, okay? There's a lot of recreational use bitches that are out there, which is totally fucking fine, but wifing up any of these hoes ain't fucking happening, okay? I have what I would accept when it comes to a relationship as opposed to what I will accept when it comes to having fun. Cool, you have a three-quarter sleeve. That's wonderful, terrific. Take off that top. That's amazing. Oh, what's that? You got a cool new uh, septum piercing? Terrific, something for me to hold on to. It's ter tremendous. Okay, that's great. That's wonderful for an evening. But when it's time to create a legacy, to leave something that matters on this world, okay? Like our 83 year old friend here. I want to make sure all of my ducks in a row. I want to make sure that I'm making the correct decision. Okay. It's just, it's, this world is so fucked on a multitude of levels and I'm just trying to clear it up a little bit out there. Okay. Hopefully you took something away from that because I don't, I don't report on this stuff, you know, happily. Okay. The fact that this lady who I don't know from a hole in the wall, I've just heard of the show. Okay. Okay. The fact that she went through such pain and such tragedy doesn't, it doesn't make me happy. Okay. It doesn't make me happy to report this stuff. It's just necessary to report this stuff because she's only 30 four and she's going through all of these problems as well thank god she already has some kids as well okay so that she's not missing out on you know all of her happiness that's out there her self-reported happiness she's married she has kids and she also has a career that allows her to be flexible as well okay and that's what's important you got to set yourself up appropriately okay you see these bitches who are up here on the top fucking row okay none of them are role models okay beyonce activist remember when she was trying to ban the word bossy because it was just a uh, misogynistic or something miley cyrus really kim kardashian huh and then I, d I don't know who that is okay and again she's probably the nicest one of the bunch but even still no just just take a look those are the shining examples that are out there okay look at all those beautiful 40 and something year old women oh it's so great they're just doing it all no man the facts are the facts and if you don't work within the confines of what is probable instead of just pointing out to the outliers and think that oh, it's possible i could i could still do that and not realize that you're more, more you're more than likely well your personality might be exceptional your biology is pretty standardized stuff okay you're pretty much the average person a couple of things might change height might change skin color might change okay but at the end of the day you got to work within the boundaries when it comes to basic human biology we've changed a lot over the hundreds of thousands of years that we've been here but we haven't changed all that much so you win the game by playing within the rules okay but with all that said thank you all very much for the gift of your time i've been don consuelo i want you to follow your gut and get after it take care everyone